What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is uh, uh, the Daily Tea for 7 12 of 2022. It's a general current pulling of the energy. It's supposed to resonate 24 to 72 hours out from the time that you view it. However, everyone's on different time and life paths. So for some of you guys, it could resonate outside the 72 hour time frame. Just saying, just saying, saying. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,340, I think. Hold on a second, let me check. Yeah. So, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. For real, for real, for real. Okay, so we're just going to jump right into it. Uh, don't forget to think of me on Friday. I've been saying it all over here. I'll say it again. On Friday, I have child custody. Um hearing court hearing um with me and my ex-husband it's not the first rodeo it's more like at least five six or seven um and he has a history of manipulation of my daughter walking around my last rented home this is my home i bought but my last home i rented he has a history of having she was 10 at the time she said um she's 16 now but he had her walk around with phone basically and film um well not film but take pictures photos of my ex uh boyfriend at the time's belongings to try to prove his evidence in the court of law that i was contempt of court and breaking the papers basically and had a streaming device out and i think it was google duo but it could have been anything else walking around with the web having her walk around the webcam walking around in specific areas of my house um so that's just kind of history of the stuff i've had to deal with with him but um of course, that was two court battles ago. The last one, he accused me of child abuse. So, if everybody, everybody could just keep me in your thoughts and prayers and well wishes, meditations, whatever you do, I very much appreciate it, you guys. Okay, so we're going to dive into it. Love you guys so much. Okay, so the channel message I received was um, someone that has stolen your money is going to try to blackmail you soon. However, through many, 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 many shocking series of chain of events, it's about to seriously backfire on them. It's not going to be able to happen. They have performed black magic on you in the past, and the black magic is about to bo energetically boomerang back upon them. So that's that's what I've heard so far. So you plug in and help resonate. So it's a black magic wielder and a thief, whoever this person is, however they apply, okay? Um, I didn't hear a sign on them. I don't know if they're masculine or femme. You have to plug this person in, in your own life and particular situation and story. However, they resonate and apply for you. If they do resonate and apply, these are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only, you know, your specific story and situation, not anybody else. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. Okay. Um, I got my son's hoodie on, so. Just saying, just saying. We're rolling today, okay? So, yeah, so somebody, okay, so, okay, so basically whoever this person is, they've done the most. And I'm just being for real. They've done the most, man. And that's just the truth. Hashtag the most. They've stolen a very, very, very large amount of money. So they've stolen a crap ton of money from you. Upcoming in the universe, it sounds like they're going to try to blackmail you, but they've stolen a crap ton of money from you. And they're trying to put black magic upon you. And I feel for a lot of these, they have try, um, either put black magic on you in the past or attempted to put black magic on you in the past. I feel like a history is what I'm saying of black magic, not just in the current energetic space. But now the black magic is energetically boomeranging back and hitting their ass. Whoever you are, I feel you're very, very high in the spiritual realm. Very high. Like, it's automatically return to sender is what I'm feeling. I don't even feel it's going to touch you this time or touched you, period. How that resonates. Um, because, you know, um, you you know, you've got to work on yourself. Heal, grow, manifest, and um, work on yourself. Um, if you, I mean, and that's just the truth. For, but if you've done the healing, growth, and manifestation work on yourself, the black magic automatically boomerangs back. And that's just the truth. It automatically returns to sender. Because you've done the healing, growth, shadow work, and manifestations, positive manifestations in your own life. 
that's what it sounds like is happening or is about to happen to this person. However that resonates. It is about to boomerang back in a huge negative way. Huge negative way and other negative ways. It is about to boomerang back in a huge negative way and other huge negative ways. So, I didn't hear specifically how uh, Black Magic can manifest back in many negative ways. Many. Um, minty. M minty. Many. Many. Like physical health declining, mental health declining, um, car accidents, um, um, weird, strange uh, occurrences, like negative occurrences. Um, many ways. Many, many ways. So, um, but whatever ways it boomerangs back, it's always negative. And it can boomerang back on the physical person or on people they're connected to. But in this case, I feel it, um, I heard it's going to boomerang back on them. So physically upon themselves or a situation they're involved with in some shape, form, or fashion. Definitely upon themselves. They, they have a very long history of doing black magic. They have a very long history of doing black magic. So it's going to uh, boomerang back upon themselves, which uh, that's double confirmation. I already heard that. And um, um, what was I going to say? Um, I had a brain fart. I'm sorry. It's going to um, boomerang back upon themselves and um, just cause negative manifestations for them because whoever you are, you're high in the spiritual realm. I feel, I feel you're high in the spiritual realm. I don't even feel it's going to come to you, man. Return to sender. Uh, oh, they have a history. They have a history doing black magic. Yeah. So, um, you know, the black magic wielding after the black magic wielding after the black magic wielding after the black magic wielding, it's catching up to them. It's catching up to them is what I'm feeling here. Let's pull energy. It's about to catch up in huge negative ways. Huge negative ways. One after another, after another, after another. It's about to catch up in huge negative ways, huge negative ways. One after the other, after the other, after the other. That's what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. So it sounds like this person, whoever this person is, masculine or femme. I didn't hear a sign on them. I don't know who they are. Um... It is about, I mean, it's about to, like, be a downfall for them, basically. It's about to be a downfall for them because um, they have got performed black magic so long upon you um, or another person. They just have such a long history doing black magic that basically it's about to just create a negative domino-like effect for them is what I'm feeling here. Whoever this person is. Um... They not only stole a crap ton of money from you, um, but they, um, they're trying to put black magic on you and trying to blackmail you. I mean, how terrible is that? How terrible is that? Number 44, 47 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 44, 47, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 44, 47, woman holding a heart, the thinking woman upright. Another feminine energy, not this person, going to try to blackmail you soon. The blackmail will not work. Know this, it will not. Because of the specific information that was withheld in the past. It's about to seriously boomerang back on this person in a negative way. Another feminine energy outside this situation. She is really thinking about the past, really thinking about the, ba the past. She's about to make some huge power play moves to help you and to help her. 
Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So uh, we've got the person that's going to try to blackmail you. I heard it's gonna not. It's not gonna work. The blackmailing is upcoming in the universe. The black magic. I feel they're already doing it now, or attempting to do it now, or done it in the recent past and now. How it resonates, but that's not working. That's already automatically returning sender. Boom. The blackmail's upcoming in the universe. Um, I heard it's not gonna work because there was some kind of withholding of information in the past. So it's actually going to end up benefiting you because the person that's about to try to blackmail you has with, withheld very important um, information from you in the past strategically, but it's actually going to backfire on them. So they're not going to be able to blackmail you because they withheld information from you in the past. Important information. Very important. Important information, very important. So they withheld very important information strategically from you in the past. So it's actually going to end up backfiring on them because. They didn't do what they were supposed to do anyways, is what it sounds like. So it's going to, that's going to backfire. The black magic's backfiring. They have a long history of black magic wielding. That's about to backfire upon them, either physically, mental health wise, or some kind of accident or negative situation or what have you, what have you. I mean, this is just terrible. And then we have a fem energy outside of this situation. So not the upcoming blackmailer and black magic wielder, but another feminine energy um, outside of this situation that um, is about to make power play moves. I heard not only to help her, but to help you too. So she cares about you or cares about the situation. And because um, we have a woman holding a heart upright, upright. And the thinking woman upright, she's strategically thinking and planning and contemplating the move, the power play move or move she's about to make for herself, I heard, and for you. So it's not only going to benefit her, it's going to benefit you too. But I think she cares about you. I think she sees you in positive light. She cares about you. And um, y'all have a positive connection here to think that a uh, woman holding a heart upright with the thinking woman upright. So um, I think she thinks about you. She cares about you. I don't think this is manipulation because sometimes women holding a heart upright and especially with combo the thinking woman upright, it can be, um, sometimes it can be manipulation, strategic manipulation to uh, pull on heartstrings. But I don't feel it is in this situation, uh, given the channel messages and the cards. I don't feel it is. I feel it is true strategic planning because this person truly does care about you. Um, at least I hope it is. Um, of course, you have to plug this person and situation into your own particular life, how, how it resonates. People can be shysty. We all know that. We all know that. And that's just the truth. Um, period, point blank, bar none. But there are people out there that really do care. And that's the truth. Um, you just, they're few and far between and rare, but they are out there. Um, but whoever this person is, I do think they care. I do. They really do care. They're saying, seeing things way more clearly now, way more clearly. About to make some huge power play moves. It's really going to help you and them. Okay, I heard they really do care. They really do care. They're about to make some huge power play moves soon. It's going to help you and them. So it's a feminine energy I'm feeling. Uh, or it could be masculine that takes on heavy femme. How that resonates. But you're pulling up two femme energies. Um, in the energetic space, I'll feel for a lot of you guys is the actual thin energy about to do this to help herself out in you. For some, it could be a masculine that um, takes on heavy thin. You have to plug it into your own particular life situation, however it resonates and applies. Okay, you guys. But I feel this is going to be behind the scenes from you. Um, so oh, for some, she could actually contact you. Maybe I didn't hear she was going to. She may, but I feel for a majority of you guys, it's going to be behind the scenes. Um, is what I'm feeling. I'll see if I hear anything else, but according to what I've gotten so far in the channel messages, I'm feeling for a majority of you guys, this is going to be behind the scenes, so you're not going to know this feminine energy is about to do this um, with her power play moves um, because she's seen things of the past very clearly now. I think she, here's what I think. I think this feminine energy knows the person that's about to try to blackmail you. That's exactly what I think. I think she knows the person or is connected to this person that's about to try to blackmail you. 
and she's seeing things very, very clearly now. And so she's about to make some power play moves of her own to benefit herself and you. But I think she knows this person. I think she knows how they are. And I think she knows this person. And I think the past has made her see so much clearly now that she, uh, her mindset has changed or is changing because she sees things so much clearly. I think she sees the snake in the grass, i.e. this person. I heard they sold a crap ton of money. They're a huge ass thief. I hope the I hope, and I didn't hear this was the case, but I hope one of the power play moves is to um um report this person for theft and fraud is what I hope. Because this person deserves to be behind bars, and I'm just serious. This person is about to step up in a huge way. This person is about to step in, step up in a huge way. So you plug in how it resonates. Now you guys have to plug yourself into the story wherever you fit. Okay, um, as always. Okay, for um, most of my my peeps, obviously I don't think you're this person. It, this person may be watching. I don't know. Only this person knows their story, not anybody else. But for majority of you guys, I feel you're either the person that's about to get helped out. This person, because we have three in here. This person, the blackmailer person, about to try to blackmail because they stole your money and they're trying to cover their tracks and blah, 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 blah and going to try to blackmail you, but it's going to backfire. Black magic will the person, this person, and we have you. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. For some of you guys, I feel you could be this person, but you have to plug yourself in wherever you fit, okay? There's three people in here. This is crazy. Okay. Carrying connections reverse. I think um, that's this person. And then we have indecision reversed. Made This person's made their mind up to try to blackmail you soon. But I heard this is going to seriously backfire. Um, and this person's made their mind up. They're about to help. Power play moves. Help themselves and you. Um, I think this person might break some blackmail is what I think. If you're this person in this situation, I think you're about to break some blackmail, ma'am, or sir that likes to be called ma'am. How that resonates? Um, if that resonates, it applies for you. Many, 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 many people are about to report a very toxic low vibrational feminine Libra. About to report her to federal agents. They see the past so clearly now, so clearly. They're about to step up and do it. Toxicity at its finest. Oh, my God. Okay, so we have a toxic Libra in here. And I've been pulling a toxic Libra in, uh, Libra Femme in the past couple days. So um, I heard basically a crap ton of people. It could be you, ma'am, that's about to do this. Or sir that likes to be called ma'am. Or somebody else. But it's a lot of people about to do this. So we have these three people and everybody else that's about to report this very, very, very toxic Libra. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit, wherever you fit. This is everybody else that's about to report this very toxic Libra Femme. Oh, and we have a Libra Femme too. Very toxic Libra Femme. Low vibrational Libra Femme. Low vibrational Libra Femme. She doesn't treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, and integrity or value. That's low vibrational activity. But um, a crap ton of people I've heard are about to report her to um, federal agents soon because of... Um, very toxic, low vibrational activity of the past. It might, she might be this person. Um, the low vibrational toxic Libra Femme might be this person. The person that stole your shit ton of money um, and then is going to try to blackmail you. I mean, I don't know. I, hell, you have to plug this story in however it resonates. Um, this is why I don't have friends. This is why I don't 
um, associate with my community because, well, my community is term wrongfully terminating me four times in my city. Why would I associate with these people? And that's just true. Um, you know what I'm saying? Somebody's getting a huge wake up call. Huge. Someone's getting a huge wake up call. Huge. Um, I, I mean, I'm serious. Why would I? I mean, the his it's in the history, and that's just the truth. It's in the facts. <laughs> that's why I'm about to ho uh, hopefully win custody back of my kids on Friday. I'm going to win custody back because I'm a good mom. I'm not an unfit mom. So there's honest. I'm under the McClendon standard, so there's no reason why I shouldn't win them back. That's just the truth. Um, so win them back on Friday. Uh, positive affirmations in the universe. Just saying. I mean, I'm a really great mom. I am. Uh, yeah, I'm struggling financially, but um, it's only because my money keeps getting blocked. And that's just the truth. If I wasn't, my money didn't keep getting blocked. I didn't keep getting wrongfully terminated in my city. My money would be fine. Um, and that's just the truth. But these people in my city know that, which is terrible. It's terrible. So um, win custody back of my kids on Friday. Uh, re re renovate my home, finish renovating my home. I'm already in the process now. Rent it out and then move locations, physical locations, because it's to the point I'm not growing and manifesting here. And as a single mother, independent on one, uh, you know, well, one person's income, I have several streams of income, but one person's income, it's um, not another person to cohabituate in a, situation like head of household energy um it makes sense for me to move when obviously i'm i'm mean, not saying this community is toxic but it's toxic for me is what i'm saying so it makes sense for me to relocate me and my children away so i can get my money up i mean that just makes financial sense you know what i'm saying now um i am going to expand the channels out make more channels. I'm going to expand YouTube out even when I move. I'm going to. I'm not going to look for a job immediately when I move and that's just the truth. I'm going to expand my business out here. Um, probably stay around for a couple more months, tie up some loose ends, get all my stuff, my ducks in a row, and then I'm moving. So I'm not going to do it immediately if anybody's wondering. I'm not going to do it immediately. Um, I'm going to make sure I've got every, I'm going to find a really, really good family. Uh, or single person or whoever that wants to rent this space out um, first. And then I'm going, I'm going to do it the right way, but, um, and then find a place, but um, one step at a time and then move. But I'm not just going to up and do it. I'm going to do it the right way. But, but why would I stay? That's what I'm saying. And I, I know if you guys were in this situation, why would you stay in a place that treated you like this? And that's just the truth. Um, I don't think anybody would, um, and that's the truth. But uh, yes, um, for anybody, I'm done with reading y'all. Click off if you want to. But I'm going to expand my business out. I've already ordered some stuff from Amazon to create um, necklaces, and um, I've kind of started on them, but I haven't really. You know, we're doing a, several different things right now, um, making cooking videos, and I need to get the necklaces made, um, cleansed and charged, and all that good jazz. There's several different things I've got going on right now. Um, my main focus and goal this week is a child custody battle, though, on Friday. Um, but, but yeah, so, you know, it is what it is. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. The energy is about to shift in a huge way. This toxic Libra feminine is about to regret she ever did the past in the in a huge way. Blackmail is not the way to go, and it's about to seriously backfire. This toxic Libra fem is about to regret she ever um, performed the. Um, Treated people the way she did in the past, basically. So, um, I think the people that are about to report her are the people she treated badly in the past, coupled with you. 
the one that got um, the crap kind of money stolen from you, and she, um, I think she might be the one trying to black upcoming try to blackmail you. Is what I think, or try to get somebody else try to blackmail you soon. And I'm serious. Um, this person is very strategic, very manipulative, and very behind the scenes. Whoever this toxic Libra Femme is, and I'm just being serious. Um, she's very strategic, very behind the scenes, and very manipulative. She hasn't tried to blackmail you yet, person that she sold a shit ton of money um, from. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Uh, another wake-up call. But yeah, she hasn't tried to blackmail you yet. But she's used all these other people behind the scenes, I think, to gang salt, bully, harass, or retaliate, retaliate against you in the past in some shape, form, or fashion. But she hasn't done it to you yet. That's upcoming. If it is the toxic Libra Feminine, it's somebody over here. But I'm pulling in a very, very, very toxic Libra Femme. But whoever this is, whether it's the toxic Libra Femme or somebody else in her minion crowd, going to try to blackmail you soon, her just going to backfire, sir, ma'am. Just know that, okay? But all these people she's treated like crap in the past basically are about to rise up and break, break blackmail and turn it around on her, transmute the energy. And I heard call the FBI. So the um, federal, I'm sorry, I, I heard, um, I didn't hear FBI. I heard federal agents. So um, whatever federal agents that is in whatever country, I didn't hear FBI. FBI is federal agents for us in the United States. but. Whatever federal agents that is in whatever country I should say. Okay? So these people are about to break break the blackmail. And so are you, ma'am, or sir that likes to be called ma'am. Because uh, you're very significant in here, too. Um, however that resonates. This is um, this is going to create huge energy shifts, which I heard earlier it was going to. It's going to create huge energy shifts. So kudos to you, sir or ma'am, if that resonates for you. Um, Kudos to you, okay? Ow, my knee hurts. Sorry. <laughs> this is about to make things move very fast, very fast. This is about to make things move very fast, very fast. So, I think... Power the people energy here. Power the people energy is about to make things move very, very, very fast. So kudos to you guys about to break blackmail. Um, I think I'm a title like breaking blackmail. Whoever you guys are. But you have dealt with this toxic Libra feminine in the past in some shape, form, or fashion. Now this person, I'm feeling it could be the toxic Libra fem or one of her minions that's about to try to blackmail you. Person that's uh, got the shit ton of money stole from you. And upcoming going to try to attempt to be blackmailed. Um, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. Um, I feel this could be the toxic Libra femme upcoming in the universe or somebody else she's behind the scenes connected to. Because whoever this toxic Libra femme is, she's behind the scenes connected to a shit ton of people. And that's just the truth. Um, she's She is connected or was connected to this person. She was connected to you in some shape, form, or fashion. Enough to garner information to steal from your ass and balls enough to try to come up soon to try to blackmail you or get somebody else to blackmail you. How about that resonates? I mean, this is a hot mess express. But I heard basically people are about to rise up like Phoenix rising from the ashes of their own um, accord and they're about to contact federal agents. It is about to go fast, 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 fast. Okay, it's about to go fast, 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 fast. So it's about to go really fast, these people are. Um, and good, good, because um, nobody should be um, stole from. Nobody should, period, point blank, bar none. Theft, that's a felony offense. That's a felony offense. And I wonder how much it is, because it goes by amounts. Like theft, it goes by amounts, and that's just the truth. Another Libra is getting a huge wake-up call. A huge-ass wake-up call. Another Libra is getting a huge-ass wake-up call. A huge-ass wake-up call. Seeing much more clearly about the past now. Much more clearly. 
Another Libra is getting a huge wake-up call, a huge ass wake-up call, seeing much more clear, clearly about the past, much more. So I think you're the Libra of the past. Um, I think you might be a high vibrational Libra, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. I'm pulling you in too. Um, you can be masculine or femme. I feel you're high vibrational. You might not have been in the past. I don't know if you were or wasn't. Only you know your past, but I feel you're high vibrational now. You're getting a very huge wake-up call, seeing very clearly about the past now. You didn't in the past. Maybe it's about this toxic leap or femme. Maybe it's about this person that got stole from. Like, th this is terrible. This is terrible. This person that stole from this person deserves to be in prison. And I'm serious. Okay. Let me, um, let me see if I hear anything else. I I'm going to close it. I heard the black magic is backfiring, though. Just to let y'all know. It's a, I mean, it's a black magic wielder. Um, uh, it's backfiring. All the black magic, black magic wielding days are energetically backfiring now. And I've been saying it on here for two and a half years, and I'll say it again. Black magic always backfires, either a little bit or a lot. In this case, I feel it's about to be a lot. But... And one of the ways it's about to be because people are about to rise up because this toxic Libra Femme has manipulated either a city or a group of people or what have you, what have you, so much so, so badly that now it's about to boomerang back upon her because people are seeing the real truth. They see she's a thief. They see um, maybe, and they see she's a blackmailer, apparently because they blackmailed, she's blackmailed them. Hell, she's going to try to either blackmail you, ma'am or sir. Or attempt to blackmail you through somebody else soon. It's that bad. I mean, Lord, can't people just people leave people the hell alone? Hashtag live free if anybody needs to hear that. All right. I love you guys. Everybody have a good day. Namaste.